you need to make this basket. And what did I use? Scrap yarn. Scrap yarn hanging around, taking up space. So let's get into it. Choose any color you want. I did random colors. You need three different colors. So I went ahead and just prepared this ahead of time. Stitch markers if you want. A pair of uh, scissors and I used a number 11 crochet hook. You can use a number 10, but it needs to be a little bit bigger because you're using three pieces of yarn. So first things first, we need to make a magic circle. Now I know this is difficult for some people and it's a little bit more harder because you're using three pieces of yarn. So just take your time and get it started. Once you have your magic ring started, you're going to do eight single crochets into the magic circle. So when you're done, you'll have eight single crochets. Pull that tight to close the circle. Now you have your first row completed. Row number two, you're going to place two single crochets into each stitch. And at the end of this row, you should have 16 stitches. Row three, the pattern will be two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next stitch. You will repeat this pattern eight times, and at the end of this row, you will have 24 stitches. Row four, pattern is two single crochets into the first stitch. Following that will be one single crochet into the next two stitches. Repeat this pattern eight times. At the end of this row, you will have 32 stitches. Row five, the pattern, you guessed it, two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next three stitches. You will repeat this pattern eight times, and at the end of this row, you will have 40 stitches. Row six, the pattern, two single crochets into the first stitch, 
followed by one single crochet into the next four stitches. Repeat this pattern eight times. You will have 48 stitches at the end of this row. row seven, two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next five stitches. Again, repeat this pattern eight times, and at the end of this row, you'll have 56 stitches, continuing to increase each row. Now you may find your piece is starting to roll up. Don't worry about it, flatten it out. And we're gonna go on now to row eight. Two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next six stitches. Repeat this pattern eight times. And at the end of this row, you'll have 64 stitches. Row number nine, two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next seven stitches. You're gonna repeat this pattern eight times. At the end of this row, you will have 72 stitches. Row 10, this will be our last increasing row. You're going to do two single crochets into the first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the next eight stitches. At the end of this pattern eight times, you will have 80 stitches. Doing a quick measurement here, when you finish this row, it should be approximately 11 and a half to 12 inches wide, depending on how tight your tension was. So that's a good base for the basket. So from here, what we're going to do is I'm going to chain one, and we're going to start working in the back posts. So you'll have 80 of these posts. So you wanna go to the back of your work. And this is a little bit difficult, but you just need to force your uh, crochet hook through. Make sure you grab all three pieces of yarn, pull it through and do a single stitch. Find the next pole in the back, pop it through. Wrap the yarn, grab it, pull it through and then a single crochet. And as you work through this, it does get a little bit easier. And this just starts the ridge row for the basket to go up now. So work on that and I'll meet you back here when you're done.
So you can see here the ridge row is starting. So continue working on that and I'll meet you back when you're done with that. So here I'm just finishing up the last stitches of the back posts. And this is uh, row 11. So again here, just lay it out, just kind of spread it out. And then here you can clearly see the ridge row starting. I'm just giving you another look here at that. I am obsessed with these colors. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the next rows. So get yourself situated. I'm placing a stitch marker here. You can do that yourself if you want to. I just find when I'm doing just a simple single um, stitch that I tend to forget. <laughs> and next thing I'll have is, you know, 10 extra stitches and I gotta pull it out and fix it. Anyway, so you're going to do 18 more rows and just work 18 rows with 80 stitches in each row one single crochet into each stitch and when you get to that point I will meet you back here to finish off the bag. Here's the bag. I am obsessed with these colors. I love scrap yarn and just picking random colors i did not plan this i just love how it's darker on the bottom with the reds and the yellow and then it works up to the blue the green and the pink it's so pretty so find where you um ended the ridge row and you'll work your way up so this will be your starting point for the um handles you're going to chain eight having a little trouble here with the three pieces of yarn. There we go. Chain eight, and this will start the process for the handle. Find where you started your eight chains. I'm just showing you this is where your handle's gonna go. And you're gonna count over eight stitches. You're gonna go into the ninth stitch and do a single crochet. You will then do a single crochet in the next 31 stitches. This will bring you to stitch number 40. And when you get to that point, you will chain eight once again for the handle on the opposite side. Count over eight stitches and then put a single crochet into the ninth. And then you will just work your way back around and you're gonna do three more rows of single crochet 80 stitches including the handle so make sure you get the handle where you created the chain so I have all the scrap yarn and I took it and I made this amazing basket this is completed with the handles I love the way this came out it took me about three hours to complete start to finish and I just think it's great I'm going to be using it to, of course, fill it with more yarn. So let me know how you like this project, and I will see you guys on the next one.